Hey, what's up, folks? I'm Jeremy. And I'm Riley. And we are the Golf Style Guys. And today we are going to be showing you how to properly wear shoes when you're going to play out for a round of golf. And we're going to show you when to do it. We're going to show you how to do it, where to exactly do it. All that fits in. Uh, but we, we can't wait to dive into that. But first, we have to let you know about our friends over at Roback. For quite some time now, Roback has, some, has been sending us phenomenal, phenomenal gear. I'm talking about Q-zips, polos, hoodies, vests, you name it. They have it. And the exciting news is that our friends over at Roback are giving our listeners a first-time offer of 15% off their first-time purchase. That's, again, 15% off your first-time purchase. All you have to do is head over to golfacy.com slash Roback, and 15% off will automatically be applied at checkout. Again, that's golfacy.com slash Roback to get your gear today. And let me tell you, I love my Roback stuff. I was just telling Riley how I wear my Roback hoodie literally everywhere I go. Yeah, it's been my, the last couple of days, it's been nice up here in Massachusetts. So I've been going to the range and that's been the, the staple of my range outfit has been my hoodie. So guys, go get you some stuff. It's awesome. It's perfect for the weather that we got right now. So good to get some stuff. Absolutely. So we all know that the swing starts from the ground up. And for me, picking an outfit starts from the ground up, starts from the bottom, it starts from the shoes. And really, you know, I have, you know, my obviously my traditional black, my traditional white, but then I have some shoes that have some neon on it. And then I have some that, you know, have some baby blue and white. So I like to start picking out an outfit by my shoes. So let's 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 jump into that, Riley. Let's let's kick it right to that. And, and how to properly wear shoes, what type of shoes, and, and when to wear it. So my first question to you would be, I'm, I'm going out Monday round. I don't want to wear shorts. I want to pull off pants. Um, it is a Monday round, so you know your traditional golfers is usually out on a Monday. What shoe am I wearing it, and what am I wearing with? We'll start off with the first. We'll, we'll go uh, style. We'll, we'll say casual, more, more of a casual style. Yeah, so I'm a big fan. I have pretty much two type of shoes in my locker. I have a very traditional one, like literally the foot joy traditionals are very nice. Um, and I go for a little bit more on the basic color. Like I only probably get white in like a black shoe, right? A little bit of white in the black shoe, whatever. But I kind of stick to those two colors because they pretty much go with everything. So Monday round, you want to wear pants. I like I like um, the Roche G Taurus from Nike. That was kind of my very versatile shoe. It looks good with pants. It looks good with shorts. So you can wear them both. That's a very good shoe. Tommy Fleetwood, I think, still wears them pretty much every round. Tony was wearing them for a while. Roars was wearing them for a while. I just think that's a very versatile shoe. Again, they look good in shorts. They look good in pants. And they're dressy enough to, if you're going to a nice country club on a Monday morning and you're wearing pants, they're going to look good. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think the biggest downfall or, or mistake, you know, ca casual golfers usually make while trying to pull off a pair of pants and it, it is the shoe, you know, sometimes, you know, if you're wearing too bulky of pants and too baggy of pants, you know, it, it, you kind of, you're kind of swallowing the shoe. So it doesn't look good at all. But if you're wearing a tighter fit five tour pocket pant, uh, that's almost tapered at the bottom, you know, you can pull off a Roshi with some ankle socks, um, and things of that nature. Now, I want to ask you about the, the new style of shoes of where it's going, specifically um, Nike and Jordan, right? They, they're starting to come out with some hot tops. Yeah, I know uh, Puma has been doing it, and we've seen Ricky wear it for a couple now, a couple tournaments now. If I were ever to wear a pair of high tops, what do I do, and how do I pull this off? So the one thing that I think about is I think I saw Jordan had like their fours in a golf shoe like pretty recently. Um, I know Pat Perez is a big Jordan guy and he wears those all the time. With the fours, and that's just kind of the shoe, the Jordan that I have in mind right now, I think those would look pretty damn bad in pants just because they come so high up. So it's either the pants are gonna cover the entire shoe and then you can't really display them as they are because everybody wants to see the Jordan. But then if you wear like joggers, it's gonna look mad weird because it's all like tucked into the high top. That would look awful. So in my opinion, like if you're gonna go with like a little bit of a Jordan, like Jordan four look where it's a little bit higher than a normal golf shoe, I just think probably shorts is just the way to go because it would be tough to kind of style the right pant with that kind of thing. Cause again, you're either gonna be able to tuck it in, which would look bad, or just, again, like you said, it kind of just swallows the entire thing and you can't really display it. So right. that's what I would do with like a four type thing. Absolutely, so uh, you know, we've seen, uh Again, Bubba Watson has now been a, a big advocate of wearing Jordans on the golf course. We all know he signed that new contract with Link Soul. Um, so, you know, he's rocking a more lifestyle type fit. And, and Jordans are the ones that he, he went with for his shoes. But um, to me, I don't think Jordans look good when you're covering them. Like, Jordans a shoe that is made to be shown. You're made to, 
they're made to, to, to show off. It's supposed to be the main bit, uh, a main piece of your outfit. So why cover them with a baggy pair of pants? Um, because it just doesn't make sense to me. You're paying all this money and then you're going to cover it on the golf course. Like, no, if I'm paying $300 for, for a pair of golf shoes, like you better believe that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, you know, showing them off. I'm not covering them with a pair of pants. You know what I mean? So I, I personally would stay away from the baggy pants and I would want to wear more of a tapered pant, um, but not that it looks bulky. You know, I, I think the only the only Jordan golf shoe that I, I'd ever wear are, are either the cool gray 11s or the, the, the all white 11s. It's the only shoe I would ever touch. I wouldn't go near the great fives. I wouldn't go near the cement fours because there's nothing I can pull that off with. Like right. I wanna, I don't want to hide the shoe. I want to show it off. So the low tops, I can wear joggers with that. I'm said and done. Yeah, and like you said with the fives, like they can be a little bit bulky, so it's tough to match the pant with something like that. But exactly like you said, like an 11, you can get an 11 a little bit. I think Bubba was actually wearing like a low 11 low like a couple weeks ago. And with a nice tapered pant, that can actually look pretty good because exactly what you said, the J wants to be, that's the statement piece of your outfit. The rest of your outfit can just be one color, just mono. And then you go to a really nice J and your outfit is sick. So you just have to find that balance of, you can't you don't want to tuck in a bulky pant into your jays and you want to make it the statement piece of your outfit for sure absolutely so now let's kick it to the other side of you know the style piece of it um and you know we see this a lot on tour especially like a jt shane lowry all those hideki matsuyama same same type of style they like to bust out what we call traditional a traditional type of shoe uh you know foot joy just came out with the premiere series the traditional series um that's really where we see it mostly is from foot joy um, so let's dive into that. How do we do it? How do we figure that out? Yeah. So with me, the traditions from Foot Joy, which their new model is sweet. I don't know if any of our viewers and listeners have seen them yet, but they're actually pretty sweet. The bottom looks soft and they look really comfortable. So with something like that, um, again, I would go mono colors. I would probably just go with like a white pair, a black pair, and maybe like a grayish pair somewhere in there. And then with those, I think shorts don't look great. Like sometimes JT wears them in a practice round with shorts and I just don't think it looks very good with like the no-show socks or whatever. I don't think that's a great look for like a traditional golf shoe look. I think with something like that, it would definitely be pants for sure. If it's a little bit cooler and you're going to wear pants during your round, that's when you break out those shoes and it just looks way cleaner when you have pants comboed with like foot joy traditions. Agreed. I think, I think uh, if you're even putting on those type of shoes, you have to wear them with pants. You're not wearing them. It's just a given that you're not wearing those with shorts because if you're wearing them, you want to, you're, you're setting a statement aside that, hey, listen, I'm still not necessarily old school, but I want class when I dress. So by, by combining class in a, a, a traditional shoe, you're not wearing shorts. So it's almost a given that if you're putting on that shoe for that, that round that day, there's no way you're wearing shorts because you want to you want to emulate class on the golf course. Yeah, when you put those shoes on, you're like, oh no, I'm gonna look damn good today. So that's kind of the thing, like you're gonna put pants, you're gonna combo it, and it's just gonna look really good. I really like the traditions actually. I think they're sweet. I kind of want to get a pair, just because, you know, sometimes you want to class it up a little bit, wear some pants, wear a nice polo, and wear a shoe like that. I think it looks good. I'll put it to you this way, uh, Riley. You wouldn't wear a pair of sneakers with a suit. Yeah. So, you know, you're wearing a nice pair, we'll say, uh, more traditional not so baggy but you know more traditional golf pant or that that's not so tapered at the bottom it's more boot cut to say uh and you know you pop on those traditions and it's like you're wearing a suit on the golf course very classy very good looking more of your country club feel-esque um so so you wouldn't wear that with, with a pair of sneakers or you wouldn't wear you wouldn't wear dress shoes with shorts you know what i mean so it's, it's like vice versa so i think pairing those are are is almost a no-brainer for me now to, to to piggyback off of that and and ask you i, I i'm completely crazy uh all i have in my all I, I i'm in a golf trip right and all i have in my bag because i forgot everything else were, were a, peer, a pair of traditional styled shoes and shorts how the hell do i pull that off yeah so i think if anything you need to make the top a little bit more of like a classier look. I would definitely, starting with the shoe, I wouldn't go like a no-show ankle, right? I wouldn't have a, I would wear a sock that you can see a little bit just to give the shoe a little bit more depth. And then if you're gonna wear shorts, if it's a nice pair of shorts, 
I would add something on top of the polo, maybe like have a nice vest you can wear over your polo just to kind of classy up a little bit. You don't want to go shorts and just like a raggedy polo and then, then you have like super nice golf shoes that would look terrible. So if you can class up the top a little bit, like a nice quarter zip or something like that, just to give it a little extra flair to the fit, I think that's how you can do it. Yeah, I like that idea of, of, of wearing more of a classier style polo, like something, um, a company like Holderness and Born or, or someone like that that's a be dratty even who who who, who uh, pride themselves on, on showing class and looking like you're, you're you're wearing a nice class classy polo there yeah for sure and again on the uh, another note on the traditional shoe I also don't think you should go Van Royen with a tradition and go like a jogger that goes up to your ankles I don't know if that would also be a great look I think with a traditional shoe have a little nice tapered pant like JT or whatever that's the perfect look that you want to go for does Van Royen does he wear does he wear the traditional shoes? I don't think I don't I don't know. I think he might actually wear more of an athletic one, but I in personal preference, I don't think like a traditional golf shoe would look good. Especially his joggers are like tight. Yeah. Those things go like above his ankle. And it's like that's I don't know if that would look great. He wears an echo type of of, of shoe. He, it's not a it's, Okay. It's echo makes it it's more of a sneaker. Echo. Oh my god. This guy's a mess. Echo. Yikes. Still, he's a statement guy. We all know. We all know. Yeah, that's true. That's what we have for you guys, folks, today. Any other questions or comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out to us. We will help you out with anything you need. You're stuck one day in your closet? Let us know. You don't know what to pick out for a golf round the next day? Reach out to us. Let us know. We'll always be here to help you guys. That's all we got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next week. Thanks, guys.